Welcome back to the LTM podcast powered by Slipstream Motorsports. We're your hosts, Daniel and Alex, and of course, this is the F1 debrief, and this is the Miami Grand Prix weekend review. Alex, how are you, mate? Nice hat. Thank you. Yes, I always seem to represent the teams that uh, win, besides Red Bull, obviously. Um, so, yeah, it's nice. It is really good, and it's a great way to start your week, start your Monday morning in Australia, is to see a orange car leading the way ahead of a Red Bull. You love to see it. And what a race, actually, yeah, it was. Well, I, I yeah, and what a weekend overall it was. It was actually, I don't know if it's the the joy or the euphoricness of Lando Norris winning his first win, but it it's it's special nonetheless. And I personally enjoy the weekend overall as a whole, i got to say. Yeah, I didn't have many complaints. Um, you know, Ricardo finished fourth in the sprint. That was fine. And then Lando Norris won the race. Yeah, speaking so, of Ricardo, yeah, what yeah, happened to him? What happened to Daniel Ricciardo? He went from fourth in uh, sprint quality and sprint and down to 18th and 15th. That's a bit of an interesting one. Um, it is unfortunate, but at least we know that car can do some damage um, once he's up there. Yeah, too bad. Mm. It's not too bad, but as we said last year, it's more of a track. You know, every track's going to have its ups and downs for them. So, mm. I don't know. Who knows where the next good track will be? Could be a Miller, could be not. Who knows? Yeah, only time will tell, but... Uh... Hopefully, you know, those rumours that were going around a little while back, uh, hopefully they don't stick around and hopefully we see him for the remainder of the year at least. Because um, well, he did rather well. Proven, well, he shouldn't even be in Miami according to what was going on. Um, mm. So, you know, come forth in the sprint and, yeah, we don't know what happened yesterday. Um, but, uh, yeah, the sprint race was unbelievable for him. And, look, I think that even if it wasn't the sprint race, he still had pace to... At least be in the top seven, maybe. Yeah, well, it's it's you see it a lot in racing. Once you're at the back, it is quite hard to get up there, um, and that's what Daniel actually yeah. said in his uh, in the interviews. Um, obviously, qualifying up the higher end can do a lot more good compared to qualifying at the back, as we saw in the sprint race and the main race. Um, but yeah, no, unless it, uh, you're uh, Oscar Piastri. Yes. Did you see his comeback? He was so far back, and he came 13th. He did rather well, yeah. Hey. to do it? Less than 10, isn't it? Yeah, it was around 10 or something. Because I think it was around... Yeah. He went in the pits around lap four, mid-40s, I think. Um, but that was cool. Um, but before we get into the main race, let's quickly dive into the sprint race and the sprint race results. Uh, by the way, guys, if you're watching or listening on Spotify or YouTube... Uh, when this is uploaded and you want to be part of the podcast, be sure to join our live streams um, when we do it. Obviously, we'll announce on the socials and whatnot. Uh, and join and ask questions to be featured in the podcast. For example, here we've got Jared Crabb on YouTube saying Haas pushed their luck with tactics to keep points sacrificed, to sacrifice their second car. Um, indeed, they did, and we'll get into that. Bryce, how are you, mate? Uh, the one race he didn't watch was a Lando win. That's... Uh, Big rip to you. And uh, shout out to this bloke here, Alex Spinozzi. I just noticed Jack Smith on top of the stream waiting thing. <laughs> but you didn't show me what it looked like beforehand, so Surpre I saw it with everyone else. I know. And, I, um, <laughs> little surprise. I, yeah, I thought you would like it as well. Um, of course, Jack Smith is the GOAT, and no one can prove me otherwise. Scotty, hey, you, mate. How good was Lando's win yesterday? Mate, it was incredible. Don't put your hand down. Um, <laughs> I can prove you wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Scotty, how good was Lando's win? It made the whole. It made everyone's day. Really, it was fantastic. It was. You don't see. You don't see fan footage trackside of a Verstappen win. You don't. No. No one cares. But when someone else does win, there's videos galore. It was. Uh, my feed was in. in you know, full of people's reactions to Lando's win. But that celebration as well with Lando just running up to his team, that was special as well. Um, yeah. I must admit, though, can we just chat about, about something? Mm. I, I'm not a huge fan of Park Ferme on the grid because when they get to the sign, you know, first, second, third, yeah. there's no one there to greet them. 
No. The best part about a race your action is coming into the pits, having the teams surround the fence line, mm. and then you do what he did. And then he had to walk about 50 metres to go to those little Rubik's Cube bloody <laughs> things. I don't know what they're for, but they're a cube. Yeah. And then, obviously, in Miami, they have a different podium and they had a half an hour drive to the podium. Like, that's a bit ridiculous, I think. I, I'm not... I, I get the point of, you know, park in front of the crowd and, you know, wave and do all that stuff, but I don't see the point, especially when they get out the car, they want to hug their team and there's no one there. Yeah. You know what that reminds me of? It's just awkward. Back when 1992, uh, Silverstone, the British Grand Prix, where Nigel Mansell won... And the crowd just, he couldn't get past the crowd in pit lane. He had to drive to the, where he had to stop and he couldn't because the crowd just mm-hmm. overcame and it was crazy. So yeah, right. imagine that, imagine, um, you know, the Lando fans doing that, that would, that would have been insane. Obviously you're not allowed to do that now. The rules have changed, safety's changed, et cetera, et cetera. But, um, uh, Australian fans ruined that last year. Yes. And, uh, that's that. Yeah. That's a, another story for another day, but it was quite um, unfortunate, wasn't it? All it takes is uh, some couple people to make mistakes to ruin it for everyone else, and that's the unfortunate thing. Another but, reason not to go to the Grand, the Australian Grand Prix anymore. Mm, right. Um, there are talks to maybe bring it back. I don't know. I don't know the whole thing about that though. But um, all we need is security around every gate. Yeah, it just needs to be a bit handled a little bit better so it's good enough for, you know, things mm. like that to not happen. But yeah, that's probably. Australia. Let's go to Miami uh, yeah. with the sprint race. Um, Bryce, by the way, also said Max was more happy seeing Lando win. Yeah, yeah he was. That was also another Don't thing. I think he gets bored. Well, did you see his radio when he hit the cone? <laughs> he's yeah. Just, he's just having uh, fun. That's the front wing durability. Yeah. Dude, he's bored. Yeah, he's having fun now. He's his, it's his second boring. job. His, yeah, uh, it pays for his live yeah, streaming day, nice. does. <laughs> a, a driver wants to race, not just do 50 laps by yourself and come back. Mm. So, Although he probably yeah. had a, yeah, yeah, well, the best part about the weekend was the fact that Lando won on pace. It wasn't like, we, yeah. like signs in Australia where Red Bull had a failure. It's not a DNF. It was yeah, actually... Um, good, but before we, you know, keep getting back into the main race, let's quickly dive over to the sprint race because there is some things we've got to talk about. It uh, lap one crash with uh, the two Astons and uh, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton, I don't know where he was going, but he went bowling and knocked um, hey, Alonso out. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, and unfortunately, he knocked. Well, he did knock out Stroll as well. But uh, it reminded me of that uh, Family Guy meme of that Asian girl saying, like, "Okay, I'm moving over now. Good luck, everybody." <laughs> but he just literally, like, he wasn't even going to turn. He, I don't know what trajectory he had. Uh, it was uh, quite he interesting. Had a trajectory for Fernando Alonso's head. Yeah, prob- probably you're not wrong there. I don't know. But unfortunately, uh, Oscar Piast, no, sorry, Lando Norris, um, got spun out due to that. Crazy con- go from- Constantina. Where does he go from DNF lap one and sprint to winning the race? Mm. Oh, and apparently he copped a twenty-five thousand dollar fine. Who did? Lando. Lando, because he walked across the track after he uh, he meant to go to the you know the nearest gate and get escorted. Yeah, okay. he just walked across the, the track and got fined twenty grand. Yeah, well, he can afford that now after winning. Yeah, he made it back up the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and then some. I'm sure Zach Brown had a boost for him. Yeah, yeah that's it. Um, but uh, overall, that, that sprint race was quite interesting as well. We saw a decent battle with Sainz and Ricardo. Ricardo did a very good job staying in the fourth position there um, with a very quick colour Sainz, who couldn't actually catch up to him on the straights. But the cornering, however, he was uh, on his ass. Yeah, well, speaking of battling, um, Kevin Magnussen's a psycho. Yeah. I've never seen a driver fight so hard. Do you so know? Little. You want to know a fun and fact? And so drastically. You want to know a fun fact from the weekend? Do you want to know how many seconds worth of penalties Kevin Magnussen got that week last week? I heard it's a lot. It was like 65 seconds <laughs> worth of penalties. And he got three, I think, three 10-second penalties in that sprint race alone. 
in a sprint he almost race. Got a lap, he almost <laughs> got a lap of penalties. I think so. He's the new Ocon. <laughs> <laughs> With the yeah, meme now. Oh, but Dude, no, that, that defending was so outrageous. I don't even know if you can call that defending. That was plain stupid. With um, yeah, well, what he did with Lewis he Hamilton, it off the track. yeah, every time <laughs> it was that I don't know what that was. He he just decided not to. He was a Forza lobby driver there. That's what he was trying to do. <laughs> Hamilton's just it good was enough that one to... guy in the F one game. He just doesn't give a shit who's behind him. Pretty much, and <laughs> and uh, speaking of Hamilton, he um, almost almost got tangled up with uh, Nico Hulkenberg in the main race too. So he he couldn't that get away dumb. from the Haas. No, but not at all. Yeah, no, that was some very interesting driving from Kevin Magnussen this weekend. Um, made Lance Stroll look a little bit better. But the difference with him and Lance Stroll is uh, Kevin Magnussen, uh, you know, didn't actually make contact with Lewis um, somehow. Well, yeah. Nothing like uh, Lance did last time out. But let's get into uh, the results for the sprint race so we can quickly dive into the big one. Hmm? Jared's asked what we thought about the Lewis Hamilton Aston Martin dive bomb. We oh, just yeah. uh, said that, yeah, it was Lewis's fault. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis went bowling. Played bowling. Mm. Yeah. I think, actually, in saying that, though, I think Alonso and Lance had a little tangle before, like literally a millisecond before that. They were going to make contact anyway. Yeah, but I, I think that it was because. But yeah, Lewis Hamilton just go like, imagine, dive imagine these guys at the oh. Astros, right? And, La- and uh, Hamilton just goes, <laughs> came in like a hello. Why do you have bowling? I don't there? know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> There's any epic hot dogs? How you going, mate? Are you the reason why I've got balloons on my face? That was no. Weird. It came up on Discord. Did it? Yeah, because I just saw it. I don't know why. Anyway, know. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, yeah, it was like um, Vettel and Kivya. You came in like a torpedo. Yeah. <laughs> um, for those listening on Spotify, um, I do apologise if if you have no idea what we're talking about. Got to quickly go to YouTube. Uh, well, this might be a real yeah, anyway. Not... Uh, I had some balloons appearing on my did. face. Sometimes you can do some stuff. I don't know. Yeah, that was came in like a balloon. Yeah, exactly. It came in like a balloon. There you go. Just showing a visual example of <laughs> Lewis Hamilton. That's all part of the plan, yeah. folks. Don't don't worry. But a celebration uh... that he didn't crash. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm just so pumped about. Uh, Lando Norris winning on the Sunday. But, Alex, do you have the sprint race results? Yeah, I do. All right, because uh, Lidsville sent a tiny diny gift on TikTok. So while you run through the results, I'll add his name to the Legends board here. So go for it. Where is he already on there, to be honest? Hmm? Lidsville. Ah, he came up last week. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, he, he sent um, a gift last time out. He's a legend. Oh, beautiful legend. Legend. We need a separate board for him. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Verstappen right. won, no surprises. Uh, Leclerc second in the ugly Ferrari. Um, <laughs> you know, I actually <laughs> forgot about the Ferrari up oh, until you said uh, that. <laughs> in the ugly wheels. Um, <laughs> Perez. Uh, I can't even. Oh my god, I'm picturing it. Just run through um, the results. Perez. Don't think about the the red blue car. <laughs> Hang on, there's another one coming up. Oh uh, Perez third, Ricardo fourth in a good paint job. Um, Carlos Sainz in another bad paint job in fifth. Anyway, um, Piastri sixth, Hulkenberg seventh. Hulkenberg always gets points, I swear. Um, I don't think he did in the race. Because there. Magnussen decide this. That's what um, <laughs> True. Jared said. <laughs> True. Well, yeah, I'll, we'll get to Magnussen in a sec. Um, Gasly and by the way, I got a shout out Logan Sargent. The one time he finishes 10th is in a sprint race, <laughs> doesn't count for any points. Oh, poor bloke. Same with Gasly, 9th. Uh, Joe Gwen New, 11th. Russell, 12th. Oof. Um, Albon, 13th. Bottas, 14th. Ocon, 15th. Hamilton, 16th. Is that because he took, yeah, he got penalties, didn't he? Yeah, 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 I think so. Actually, no, no, uh, yeah. he didn't. There was no further action for uh, the sprint race. Was... Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't remember why he finished 16th. Uh, Alonso, 17th, and good old Magnussen in 18th. And not classified, Stroll and Norris on lap one. There you go. <laughs> and uh, before we dive into the laughs and stuff, go, go. we went a bit off topic there, but 
Uh, shout out to Lidsville there who sent a gift on TikTok. So if you are on the stream, Hang if on. you're watching, yes. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. While well, Alex tries to process what's going on in his mind, because I'm curious. Um, if you do, if you're watching on uh, YouTube or listening on Spotify, um, to, well, when this is out, and you want to be part of the live, like I said, be sure to join us when we're live streaming these podcasts. Uh, and if you're on TikTok, if you send a gift, your name will be featured on our Legends board. But if you subscribe, however, on TikTok as well, your name will also be there. Uh, also stay there. Also be featured in uh, every description and podcast we do on YouTube and Spotify. Alex. Well, the back of your board <laughs> I have looks a- better than a Ferrari. <laughs> That's Actually, all I mate, to say. this is if you everyone, by the way, who's watching on YouTube, looks at the wheels. This is this is <laughs> never before seen actual design concept art of the Ferrari. <laughs> there it is. There you go. There's the Ferrari. That's what it was for meant you. to look like. Exactly. And as you can see, there is a bit of green. Not sure why, um, but it's, uh, it's- there is red and blue, and it's predominantly blue. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's all I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, it's going to fall. Thanks for sharing. If yeah. it, it's not the first you've, time it will fall. <laughs> uh, you've mastered that. <laughs> uh, Lidsville, uh, love your fellas' channel. It's awesome. Your reviews are cool. Love them. No, nah, thanks, mate. Appreciate it, bud. Uh, Bryce, yeah, WTF was Ferrari doing with that livery. Mate, the fact... You know what was crazy about it? They actually planned it. It was on paper and everything. Uh, I remember tagging you and uh, Ivan in that Facebook post. I was like, they actually planned oh. it. Did you see what I commented back? They should have left it on yeah, the paper. Yeah. <laughs> and not, not fucking used it. No. Oh, it was so bad. It was so disgusting. Hey, but hey, guess yeah, what? Imola, Imola, raced over. Imola, we go back to the normal red. Thank God. Just put some green on it. It's the Italian flag. Don't actually, on it. Sorry. Sorry, actually, I just made a point. I made a thought in my head. We might get some blue with the Ferrari anyway, with the HP logo. But hopefully it's not as yeah, bad hope, as the blue that's just a one, wheels and hopefully stuff. Hopefully that's just a one-range sponsorship. Yeah, hopefully it's just a circle, like just somewhere. But well, all I'm saying is Ferrari had the best delivery of 2024 and opposite the worst. Yeah, they went real high, hey, and then just suddenly like dropped the ball. Because when, when, that, when that livery dropped, as in like the, the normal one, yeah. At the start of the year, on that day, I literally made it my wallpaper. It's so good, isn't it? Because it's so beautiful. And then they came out with that blue piece of crap, and <laughs> I would never wanted to throw up so much in my life. <laughs> Actually, I couldn't even do a TikTok on it because I was just so mortified. <laughs> Ivan did it for me. I just, I looked at it and like, I genuinely felt sick. Ivan's reaction was, was pretty disgusting. funny though. <laughs> quite like I would have done quite but, By the uh, way, check yeah. out our TikTok if you haven't yet. We, uh, we, besides from covering news and stuff, we also do share our opinions and whatnot on uh, on the thing. Um, I like it didn't share my opinion. Yeah, well, yeah, your Discord just buffered there, so even your Discord couldn't handle the Good. the stress of the <laughs> Ferrari car. <laughs> um, let's get straight into the Sunday action. Uh, does Alex do TikTok? Yeah, he, he you've got a TikTok, mate, haven't you? Yeah, but I do it on the channel, but not as often as mm. you. <laughs> but he does, yeah. He, I live in Brisbane. Well, sometimes. <laughs> I was going to do it, but I'm like, hang on, we can't have three reviews of the ugly yards. <laughs> <laughs> three different versions. The thing is, it's, we all have the same opinion, so it'll just be the exact same video. <laughs> just maybe yeah, more intense really. than the oh, other. Mine would, mine would have more curse words in it, but that's all right. Yeah, so maybe it was. Um, maybe it's a good idea you, you didn't do it, but... <laughs> Uh, but Liz, yeah, I do have my own TikTok, but I just don't use it, to be honest. He has one, though. But um, <laughs> Yeah, I do have one. And then I go on the channel sometimes, but, yeah, you, you got more free time when you're in. So. <laughs> you, you you appear a lot as uh, as these podcasts when they turn into reels. Yeah, I just do all the funny stuff. Yeah, you appear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do all the dino, dino post stuff. The dino post, there you go. Um, <laughs> Bryce Ferrari literally went all out with merch and everything. Yeah, no, they nailed the merch. And then they showed the Dude, car. Dude, the merch was killer. Yeah, the merch was hell good until the car I came. I would have preferred to see Carlos and Charles run the race on foot. Because <laughs> that looked better. 
Like that 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 suit looked awesome. It did, and the hel- I love the blue helmets too. That was that was, yeah, nice that was such a tease. Yeah, That's yeah. the worst part. Like, yeah. actually, it wasn't even the fact that they went for a blue car, which I didn't. Um, but like the f- <laughs> it's the fact that <laughs> the they fact didn't. that they released. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were hyping it up, and they just weren't like- going to do it. <laughs> Do you know what I forgot to mention is I was so mortified by the idea of a blue Ferrari. Yeah. And then when that came out, I was even more mortified because I wanted the blue. <laughs> I had, it was just so weird. <laughs> I've never been so like upset, then excited, and then so sad in my life in Thanks. such a short amount of time. <laughs> the best way I can describe it. Uh, yeesh. But hey, bro oh, said if they ran the anyway. race... It would have been quicker than Alpine. Yeah, you're not wrong. And, <laughs> and speaking of that, you did you I see it? Alpine got points. Yeah, but let's ignore that for a minute for this fact. But uh, <laughs> David Coulthard on the commentary. Oh. <laughs> when uh, Max Verstappen went past an Alpine, oh. uh, David Coulthard said, uh, that's an Alpine going flat out. <laughs> <laughs> on the cool down lap. I love that. That was fantastic. Oh, boy. And then Alex, uh, he couldn't not giggle, the <laughs> commentator. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that Alex? That's Alex Brundle, isn't it? No, no, Alec, um No, yeah, I think. I, so, I, I can't remember. Yeah, Brundle. Pretty sure it's Brundle's kid. Yeah, he, he does actually quite well with that with that stuff. Yeah, I don't um, mind listening to his stuff. Speaking of that, Martin Brundle oh. was back this time out, this time around. He was. Good he to was. see. Um, Oh, let's get to the results. Let's get into the race. Right. Yeah, let's get into the race. So, Sunday's race, um, Sergio Perez, lap one, turn one, almost knocked Max Verstappen out. Did you see that? Actually, I have to watch it. Hang on. Okay, I have to while watch you're watching, it, basically, oh, you know what? Let's hear, let's get your reaction. Um, A live one? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's do a live reaction. Is it on now? Are you playing it? Hang on, no, I got China up by accident. Okay, yeah. tell me when you're ready. Uh, All right, here we go. Then when you're ready, go. let's go. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> yeah. It's a, he became wow. he became a two. He was that was actually secretly Danny Kvyat, Uh in that car there. <laughs> Wow, he came. He actually came in like a torpedo. He did. Well, that's racing. Could you imagine Max's mirror, just a flash of smoke? <laughs> Red Bull almost had wings that, that, wow. that day. Wow. Uh, Do you reckon Christian would have crapped himself? Yeah, I, <laughs> I would have. I think he did. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't have been more than a minute. That was less than a meter, for sure. That was. Bo- it was like no gap whatsoever. <laughs> There's nothing to it. It was well, crazy. They took each other out and Charles Leclerc leaves. Oh, yeah. If that happened, Sergio would have lost his seat for Imola. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, um, but, yeah, so that happened. But Max, you know, was in the lead. Happy. All went well for him anyway. Um, but, yeah, that was crazy beginning. Um, McLaren's looked quick, like I said. Um, they actually had a good strategy. Uh, and then the safety car came out. Like the race was fairly tame before the safety car came out. Uh, with, yeah. In terms of safety car, Logan Sargent and Kevin Magnussen, um, they touched. And I reckon, I got to be honest. After seeing many replays, I reckon it was. Have you seen that crash with uh, Kevin Magnussen and yeah. uh, uh, what's his name, Logan? Um, I think it's Kevin's fault. It's well, the whole weekend is Kevin's fault, but. Um, <laughs> It's. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Though. No. Oh, that what? was funny. Good one. <laughs> but um, do you need a minute? You're good. No, I'm good. That was funny. <laughs> no, but it's a it's um, a it was a tricky one. It was a, and unfortunately, uh, time's running out for Logan. I reckon. Um, this could. Very Quite well. Running out, they literally just public. They publicly said they're looking for someone else. Yeah, but the thing. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like the rumors going around with him potentially losing his seat for Imola. Um, now, actually, I want to get on to that because James Vow in the interview, he specifically said that you know, 
Kimmy will not be in the car for Imola, right? But the thing is, FIA received a thing asking for permission so Kimmy can race. So probably James, sorry, I know you I know you want to say, James is probably saying that for the sake of in case it doesn't get approved. Um, I like James Zowes, but one thing he hasn't been very good at is keeping secrets. Like he he says things that he's not gonna do, or that wasn't the reason for that because such and such. And the first example is getting rid of Logan for Alex's car mm. in uh, Australia, which I think is the weirdest and stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my life. And it didn't even work because Alex finished eleventh. Um, and then the race after in Japan that didn't go well, and now we're here and he crashes again. And I've just realized, and I don't know if you pick, picked up on this, but you remember the Kimi Antonelli Mercedes test that he did a couple of weeks ago? Mm. Is it a coincidence that that happened at Imola? Because I'm sorry, but Mercedes would never do a test outside of the UK. But I, that's weird. They did in Italy a test. Well, I think George Why would Russell. They be in Italy? I think George Russell did a test in 2022. Or I think with Imola. I could be wrong. Something's not right there. The the next race is Imola, and he did a test in Imola. Mm. That's not a coincidence, I don't think. Personally, I don't... And James out saying, oh, I'm not sure sure what's happening with Kimmy. Yeah, you do. But he has actually made it... He has made it clear, though, that he is seeking options for a 25-26 seat. Um, So it has sort of confirmed that Logan will definitely not be in that car next year. Um... And yeah, I hope but, uh, personally that Kimmy, you know, like I said last podcast, I hope Kimmy, you know, sees through the rest of the season and then jump into F1. I don't want him, you know, because James made a very good point. He said six or nine months ago he was in a Formula 4. No, I agree that Kimmy may or may not be ready, but, like, I'm just thinking that, yeah, Logan's mm. screwed. Yeah, and he's... I think having ki- seen Kimmy do a test at Imola is not a good sign. And the fact, actually, uh, speaking on that test, the fact of how close he was to George Russell's lap time, being first time mm. ever in that Formula 1 car, mm. he's only a tenth off. I'm sure he's doing simulator work every day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of, of course. Um, but, oh, Lidsville here. Max comments after the race was hilarious. Did you see that? I sent it to you on uh, Instagram. So basically, yeah, was, it was uh, if my mum, thing. if my dad, if my mum had yeah. balls, she would be my dad. <laughs> that was hilarious. and if you, it's it reminds me of a reference from an old British talk show, a uh, morning talk show. I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> this this guy who this so weird. this chef was like uh, was getting offended because he made a bit of pasta, and the the hosts were like, "It's just like a oh, carbonara." That, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, it's like, if my grandma had wheels, she would have been a bike. <laughs> it's just a little... Mac, like I said, Max wasn't... I don't think he was being serious at all this weekend. He just had a blast. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. But, uh, um, yeah, overall, once the safety car came out, uh, Landon Norris took, took, and McLaren took advantage of that and um, pitted once the yellow came out and managed to get ahead of uh, Max Verstappen and... Uh, was able to lead from restart onwards, and a great result for him to score his first win. He's no longer Lando no wins. He's finally a race winner and in the history books properly um, forever. And it took 112 races. But he's finally there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, so let's get dive. Just hope it doesn't take him another 112 races. Hope not. Hope not. Let's uh, dive down for the results here as uh, we keep going. Uh, Max Verstappen, obviously P2 for the first time in a long time. He's P2. And haven't said that in a while. Charles Leclerc, P3 ahead of Sergio Perez after Carlos Sainz, who's now in fifth, was previously fourth, but he actually got a penalty for clipping uh, Oscar Piastri's wing. Um, after a brilliant, intense battle between the two towards the back end of the race, unfortunately, they touched, which means Oscar had to come in, change his front wing. And like we said before, that recovery he, he did was quite quite great 
Uh, and then we've got Lewis Hamilton, who had a much better race on the Sunday than he did Saturday. Uh, didn't do any he bowling this time around. He was actually happy, he too. Quick. He was happy with the interview. Um, we haven't seen that all He was keeping up with Perez. Mm. And do you know, actually, yeah, it's a funny thing. Um, it's like him and George swapped personalities this weekend. Um, George was not happy with his car this weekend compared to Lewis. Lewis was uh, fairly chill about it. Mm. But um, uh, next, Yuki Tsunoda, though, P7. Um, brilliant result for him. Unfortunately, you know, um, Daniel Ricciardo couldn't be there. Um, but it was great to see, nonetheless, that they did get double points on the sprint race, at least. So technically, they got double yeah. points. Um, but, uh, yeah, decent decent race from him. He did rather well this weekend. He had a strug- He struggled, obviously, with the sprint race qualifying and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's like they switched cars or something. I don't know. That was weird. Very weird. It was them. quite odd. And the, the fact that it happened in the same day too, like it was only a couple of hours apart, and... wasn't it? The sprint race and qualifying. Yeah. Yeah, it was really odd. Yeah, it was very very strange. But according to Daniel, he actually said that uh, he struggled on the soft tires. Apparently, they're like he just on the second lap, he just had no grip. So I'm not too sure there, but. Um, Lidsville says, uh, yeah, good to see Lewis for a change. Merck's slowly getting better. Yeah, they're slowly getting, getting there. Um, Chef, which car goes the fastest? Technically Red Bull. They did get pole position after all. Um, so technically, but in saying that, I think, was it Lando or Oscar who got the fastest lap in the race? I'm pretty sure. It was one of the McLarens. Pretty sure it was Oscar. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, that's right. Because you remember, the, yeah, that recovery. That's right. He got his, um, yeah. No, I remember. It didn't count, obviously. But... Yeah, yeah, but still, it's good. To, he had, he had pace, and he was uh, he was actually going strong before that happened too. Um, so we could have yeah. seen a brilliant result from McLaren overall. Uh, but hey, at least we know that car is pretty decent. Uh, as a, as we said, George Russell is eighth, despite not being happy with the car. Fernando Alonso had a much better race this time around. Uh, made it into the points. Uh, he actually started 15th, so he did did really well to get up to there. Um, and uh, like you said before, Esteban Ocon, one point for Alpine. So didn't think that would happen, um, but it did. No, we definitely didn't. So who's the only team that hasn't got a point now, isn't it? Salva? Yeah, I think so. Um, have a look. Have a look here. I've got the championship standings. Oh no, William Williams too. Yeah, but oh yeah, point. they've been pretty close though. Like it, like if if the point system True, was different better, better for the sprint, the then way. Logan would have would have gotten a point. Um, but unfortunately, which I still think is, which is I think it's still stupid. Yeah, well, being tenth any time is great. So the fact that he did that was great to see. Uh, it's just a shame what happened yeah. with the race, unfortunately. But even then, Williams yeah. just weren't there in the race either. Um, even Albon actually said that he, that he, he just, he didn't, he wasn't too sure what happened. Um, it, they, they weren't good enough this weekend, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's, it's no. interesting. Uh, moving on as we go further down, Nico Hulkenberg finished 11th, just outside the points. It's his first Grand Prix that he didn't finish inside the points. I mean, I'm pretty sure since like for the year, besides from Bahrain. Because I think he, I think we spoke about last time. He um, consistently was in uh, the points up until now. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Kevin Magnussen couldn't help him out of that one. Uh, Pierre Gasly is twelfth ahead of Oscar Piastri after you know that great drive to get to get him there back up back up uh, as as we said before. Joe Guan Yu is fourteenth ahead of Daniel Ricciardo, who uh, started twentieth after getting a three place grid penalty. Um, I've got so many tabs here. Sorry, I'll just, just make it. There we go. Make a, sh- a chat disappeared for a minute there. Uh, and then we've got uh, Valtteri Bottas 16th, Lance Stroll is 17th, uh, Alex Albon 18th, Magnussen 19th, and Logan Sargent is your one and only DNF uh, for the main Grand Prix. Uh, Lizville, yeah, the mediums were better than the softs. It's yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah the softs just uh, seemed to go too quick. Um, although apparently Alec Albon was saying his soft tyres lasted six corners. 
yeah. hot laps, corners. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, that's oddly specific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. I th- yeah, same thing, similar thing with Ricardo. Maybe more than six corners, but um, so I've never seen a. I've never heard a driver complain about tires after a certain amount of corners. Yeah, you know it's bad Flat, when that happens. Sure, but- but, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, no, mediums definitely look like the way to go. Although Yuki was on the softs for the sprint race, I believe. Uh, and he did fairly well yeah. considering um, considering that. But, uh, yeah, so that, that's the Miami Grand Prix. And let's uh, dive into the championship standings after it before we talk even more mm-hmm. about it. So having a look here at the drivers, uh, Max Verstappen still leads the way with 136 points. Uh, about 33 clear of Sergio Perez in second. Charles Leclerc's third for Ferrari. Um, still, you know, nothing's changed there. With Lando fourth, Carlos Sainz fifth, Oscar is sixth, uh, George Russell seventh. Then we've got Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton eighth and ninth. Uh, Yuki Tsunoda is in the 10 now. Uh, ahead of him, oh, sorry, he's ahead of Lance Stroll, uh, who's ahead of Oli Beerman now. Um, only just though. Uh, so it's good to see Ollie still, you know, staying there in 12th position. But he's actually tying with Nico, Nico Hulkenberg now. Uh, and then, of course, we've got Daniel Ricciardo in 14th now with five points, which is great to see. Uh, then Esteban Ocon with one point is in 15th. And 16th is Kevin Magnussen. And now that that's all for the point finishes. Uh, and so now left over, we've got in 17th is Albon, Joe Guan Yu, Gasly, Bottas, and Logan Sargent in 21st position. Uh, and Alex, do you want to go through the team standings? Yeah, except um, Norris and Sainz are on the exact same points, by the way. The exact same, are they? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, that that would have been different if uh, Carlos didn't get that penalty, I reckon. True. Yes. Very good point. Uh, yeah, the constructors, so Red Bull's on 239. They have a, quite a large gap who's... On, who's no, ahead of Ferrari, who's on 187 in second. Uh, McLaren third on 124. Uh, then a 60-point gap back down to Mercedes on 64. Aston Martin on 42 points in fifth. Red, sorry, not Red Bull. My God, I saw RB and said Red Bull. Uh, RB, Cash App, Visa, whatever you want to call it, um, 19 points in sixth place. Uh Haas in seventh on seven points, actually. Um, yeah, Alpine got the one point, so they're eighth now, and ninth and tenth is Williams and Sauber. So it's just two teams. They've still got the zero next to their name, unfortunately. Uh, Slipstream Motorsports. Yep. Ivan, how you going, mate? Welcome, welcome hey. aboard. Uh, good to have you on. Uh, Lidsville, I'm looking forward to Imola. I've made a goal to watch every race this year. Yeah, sick, man. Imola's going to be sick. Um, it's always, it's a fact, I love the track. Um, so I'm, I'm looking, awesome. for, looking forward. I've, unfortunately, we didn't get to see them race last year because of the, it, no, it, flooded. the um, it flood. Yeah. So, that's right. Yeah. So, um, it's been a while. That's for sure. Bryce, how has Albon got no points? Unfortunately, just the, keeps finishing 11th. <laughs> yeah. He's gotten very close, but unfortunately, uh, hasn't had a great start to the year, Williams. Um, and also, the fact that Logan Sargent crashed as well. I was actually sort of a little bit nervous there when he when his rear went straight into the wall, given how they've still got the, the no third chassis problem and stuff like that. Um, it's a bit scary. But that is uh, our review for the Miami Grand Prix for 2024. Alex, um, who is your driver of the day? I, I reckon uh, I, have a, I can make a guess here. Lando. Yeah. I'm glad you said that yeah. because I was... there's no other answer. Exactly. Yeah, he, the, it's incredible. I'm, I'm still s- stoked that he uh, got his first win. Uh, Epic Hub Dogs, do you think we've um, you what? <laughs> do you think every person <laughs> will get? <laughs> he mis he misspelled that by the way. Um, do you think every what? person will get will get? Yeah, it, it'd be interesting. Um, I hope to see that at no. least, but I don't no. think so. I think Stake will miss out. No. I reckon. Or do you reckon Williams will oh, win? as a team? Yeah, do you reckon every driver oh, will get on. a point? Yeah, but you just said team. Did I? I think one of them will. I don't... I said... Oh, I meant driver. Yeah. I meant driver. My bad. Yeah. No, no, no. I think... I don't know, man. The, the ones that are down there are 
a struggling bat. Mm. Unless it's a sprint race, <laughs> apparently they do good. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it, it's a tricky thing. No, no, it, don't worry. Gasly about it. Still good, mate. Uh, like it, Gasly, ninth, Sergeant, tenth, eleventh, Joe in the sprint race, and they come last in the race. Mm. I reckon like, maybe uh, Logan might miss that's out. So weird. I reckon. Um, Logan might not be driving anymore. <laughs> that's why I meant you might miss out. I'm not wrong, yeah. am I? <laughs> I think him, I think Joe as well. No offense to him, but yeah. I'm, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Lizville says, no. um, I thought the race on the weekend was awesome. The joy on the other drivers showed how much, yeah, respect they have for each other. Yeah, it was great to see uh, everyone going up to Lando and uh, giving him a hug or congratulating him and whatnot. That was fantastic to see. Bryce, uh, Joe won't score a point. Yeah, I th- I think he has more chance than Bottas at least scoring, in my opinion. I must admit, Bottas has been terrible this year. He's focusing on cycling way too much, I think. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't think Bottas will score a point this year, to be honest, either. Yeah, he's, it's gone downhill for him, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm just fixing the camera. One more. That's all right. I'll fix it up after. But, uh, yeah, oh, so... Man. There we go. It looks a bit better. Um, but, yeah, that is it for the, our Miami Grand Prix race review. Uh, overall, pretty decent weekend as a whole. Um, we saw plenty of stories, a lot of action. Uh, good to see, um, obviously, McLaren get that win and with Lando. It's great to see. Uh, I'm excited to see Imola, see what happens. I wonder if McLaren can maintain that pace. Um It'll be interesting to see. Uh, but speaking of Imola, should we do some predictions for Imola? I, I can't remember. I didn't see our prediction. I don't think we made any for Miami. Um, no, good point. Actually, we might do. But uh, who do you? Uh, what do you reckon? What do you? Yeah. What are you going to expect for my uh, Imola? Well, I'd like someone else to win. Um, oh, this is difficult. Hmm. I haven't written him down. I just hope that Ferrari wins, just based on being in Italy. With a red car? With a red car. An actual proper red, car. red not, car. Not with not with blue. With uh, red wheels. Yeah. Um, I hope a Ferrari wins. I, I, I don't really think it will happen, but, you know, I'd love it too. Um, what else randomly we can do? Do you reckon Kimmy will be in the car? Um, I'm going to say no, but I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Mm. It'll be, it's going to be very... I, I'm I, trying to think of something different. Mm. I'm going to write Ricardo points. I like that. That's a good prediction. I like that. Hopefully it happens. Um <clears throat> Because yeah, that, I uh, hope I hope Alf, um not Alpha I was going to say Alpha Terry. I hope uh, RB get the double points for the main race. But I'm I'm hoping I, I reckon Williams might get a point with Albon. I reckon really? I reckon I reckon he he might be able to do it. Hopefully, um that's all, that's mostly me hoping than predicting to be honest. But um who knows? To be honest, I think actually he's got a, a chance because I think Williams that'll be uh a good chance for them. Mm. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see. Uh, Lizville says, um, I like I like Joe. I hope he scores a point or gets a good seat next year. Yeah, hopefully he sticks around. Um, I, I reckon... I can't see anyone pick him up. It is tricky, though, isn't it? It, it was starting to get to a, uh, a bit of a nervous point with, with the... Silly season. Well, Hulkenberg's already signed with them. Exactly. So. Um, but I don't. I think he will stick around more than Bottas, though. Um, maybe. Yeah, Bottas should hang it up. To be honest. Um, come to supercars, race the Bathurst. I'll, I'll put much. I'm. I'll better off. I hope he does that. That's what I want to see. Um, but he. Uh, Lizzie also says I think Danny's past his prime. Yeah, it's 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 unfortunate with uh, Ricardo. Um, I I you know. I, I will ride the Danny train all the way, um, but I do want to see uh, Liam Lawson in a car next year. And even if that means Danny has to leave, then it is what it is. 
But I don't want to keep Liam Lawson waiting, that's for sure. He's got a lot of potential. Just sitting yeah, there. they've got a big decision on their hand. Exactly. Um, but, uh, Alex, any uh, final thoughts before we wrap this up? I'm all good, mate. I think uh, it was a very successful weekend. It was indeed. I quite enjoyed it. And I'm still going to be buzzing with that Lando win to Imola. Um, which is actually in a couple of weeks' time uh, for the May 17-19 weekend. It's going to be a busy weekend overall as a whole. Uh, I think you've got your Nürburgring, have you, on that weekend? Yeah, if we're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, the 24-hour iRacing one. Uh, I'll, of course, we've got the supercars as well, so we'll be doing a uh, Perth preview oh. next week. You know, it's, it's, uh, plus, on top of that, I'll be at the Ben Motorsport Park doing some commentary for... Uh, oh, my God. I forgot about that. <laughs> for uh, the UniSA Australian HPV Super Series. So that'll be cool. So we're looking for a guest uh, host because we can't watch all the sport. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we need someone to... We're going to have know, to outsource. We need someone to write a script for us and we can just read it. <laughs> yeah, we need to outsource results because we're not going to be able to watch any of it. No, that'll be all right. Luckily, my, the oh, race boy. for me is on the Saturday, so I'll be able to when I get home, catch up on what I miss. But uh, it's going to be a busy week for everyone. Uh, no, Bryce, so uh, this weekend is, mu- is... is There's nothing on. It's the weekend after is the Perth round. So we usually do our preview the week the week of racing. So next week will be our Perth preview. Um, alongside... Yeah. Actually, no, I was going to say alongside our F1 review, but there's no F1 this weekend. Um... Never mind about that. But, this no, but we do have our motorsport report. They'll be coming out Thursday. We'll be covering all the NASCAR weekend last weekend at Dover. And of course, they're going back, going to Darlington this weekend. Have you seen Shane Van Gisbergen's uh, sick NASCAR right, livery? Matt. It looks so sick. I, I love, love it. it. Actually, I must admit, Shane's driven some really ugly looking cars this season, but this one will be the best mm. and it won't get beaten. Yeah, I, I, I think you're. I think you're right about that one. Bryce is in the future, by the way. He says he's a week ahead. Um, so that, yeah. Yeah. So next week we'll be doing a Perth review. He's already had Mother's Day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so stick around for that. If you are at the Bend on the 17th and 18th, feel free to say hi. It's a great event. Highly check it. Highly recommend checking it out. Um, but uh, uh, TFH is the low. Ah, welcome, TFH, TFH Racing. Well. How are you guys? Great to have you. Um, do stick around. I'll be ending this live for those watching live and I'll be redoing it if that makes sense for gaming wise of things. But uh, yes. time to wrap up the actual podcast, by the way, guys. If you did enjoy this, I haven't, can't believe I haven't said this yet. Be sure to like and uh, subscribe and follow wherever you are watching and listening from. Uh, and if you are on Spotify, be sure to give us a five star rating. Helps us get out there more. And uh, stay tuned for some more epic motorsport content coming your way with Let's Talk Motorsport. Uh, that's all from us. Bye for now. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye.